right now, so we're not going to get nailed like California is, but, <coughs> excuse me, we are getting some wind and we're probably going to get some rain. Well, it uh, was a little carboned up, but it looks like it's in good shape other than that. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to uh, continue on with this uh, club car carry-all, easy-go club car carry-all. Today I'm going to try and see if we can put a jumper pack in here turn this thing over make sure the uh electrical stuff we worked on in the last video doesn't uh, get hot and set things on fire and all of that and then uh once we get a successful uh turnover on the engine then i'm going to drain all that diluted gas diluted oil out of the crankcase. I prefer to fire them up and warm them up first before I drain the oil, but there's so much gas in there. I don't want to risk spinning a bearing on this little 11 horsepower Kawasaki engine. So yeah, let's uh, see uh, if we can get some things hooked up here and turn this thing over. Let's put a little oil down that cylinder since this thing hasn't been run in quite a while. I want to make sure we get a little lube in there. All right, according to the manual, you spin this, this little knob and, uh, or just pull it out rather, and that uh, locks out the uh, forward and reverse. And uh, so it doesn't jump into gear while we're working well, on let's it. Let's turn this jumper pack on. I'm not seeing any smoke. So I'm gonna bump the key and see what we get. Contact. Nothing. Well, let's see what's going on. So my manual led me astray. On the ignition switch, the manual says off, on, and start. Well, sorry about the crappy camera work. This just says off and on. So you turn the battery power on, switch this to on, then step on the gas pedal, and that should kick it over. Let's give this a try. Okay, jumper pack on. Key switch on. Gas pedal. Hey, look at that. It sounds good. There's no knocking, no funny noises. So uh, I think uh, we got a winner here. I'm going to hook the plug up and see if we got spark. This thing has electronic ignition, no points. So we should get spark. Let's see. Oh yeah, hot spark. 
Check it out. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> that means this thing's gonna run. So um, I'm gonna drain the oil out of this, get some clean oil in it, and then I'll hook up a temporary fuel system, see if we can get her to fire. I don't think they picked a more inconvenient spot to put a drain plug for this engine. Of course, if you had it up on a lift, it would work just fine. But yeah, this is gonna take both hands. The oil is still dripping, so I'm gonna try and uh, get this filter off here. These things are always fun. Oh, hey. Somebody must have lubed the gasket when they put that filter on. There, now you can see, sorry about that. It's uh, Arco Horton's crappy camera work. I steal from the best. Well, it's time to see if we can crank this thing up. I um, filled up the carburetor bowl and that hose with uh, some Moto Mix. It's two stroke uh, oil and it's 91 octane. And uh, so that'll make sure we get a, some lube to the upper end. And so I'm going to uh, get the jumper pack back in here and uh, let's crank this thing up. Fire in the hole! Now this is a real pleasant surprise. The uh, starter generator was replaced in April of uh, 2020. So uh, just three and a half years ago. Uh, so this thing was running, I'm assuming then. So it's, it wasn't six or seven years, it's more like three, three and a half years since it's been run. So that's encouraging. But be that as it may, you heard it crank up and it sounded good. Uh, for the few seconds that it popped off, I was halfway expecting a big pile of dead mice and mice nests to come blowing out that exhaust because that's a that's a big exhaust, and the opening on that exhaust pipe right there just perfect for a mouse to crawl into. And this thing sat out in a open grassy field uh, until I picked it up. So yeah, I'm amazed the rodents didn't get into that exhaust system. So. Well, sorry, didn't have any more drama, you know, no mouse stuff flying out the exhaust, but hey, it runs. Well, that was real encouraging. Uh, now we got a, a viable engine, and uh, so it's time to spend a little money on this thing. I've got to um, uh, get the fuel system parts. In fact, I already got some on order. Uh, I've got to get a new vent, a uh, new pickup tube for the fuel tank, and... Um, a, a new sending unit for the gas gauge. I may opt not to do that depending on how expensive it is. I mean, all I gotta do is lift up the seat and see how much fuel is in it. Um, so maybe, maybe not on that, but hey, I'm excited now. Uh, I've got a viable engine. And um, so uh, on the next video, we're gonna tackle the fuel system. Now, when I fill the bowl on the carburetor, I didn't see any leakage anywhere. Um, and sniff the dipstick again and didn't get any um, gas smell in the crankcase in that fresh oil. So um, that may be okay. I'm assuming that carb is going to have to come apart and be rebuilt because I think that clicky clack fuel pump that was put on there was overwhelming the needle and seat too much pressure. And that's how come all that gas wound up in the crankcase. Uh, at least that's my speculation. So uh, we'll just have to see on the car, but uh, I'll get the gas tank cleaned out and um, on the next video and uh, we'll get some new parts in it, hook it all up, put some fresh fuel in it, fire it up again. Uh, still have to um, validate the 
the transaxle in it to see if if that's going to work okay. I'm assuming it's going going to. Uh, we'll check the oil in the gearboxes and um, do some other odd and ball maintenance. But um, yeah, fuel system next video. And hey, uh, <clears throat> got some more new subscribers, so welcome aboard. Feel free to join us in the comments. I usually got a a, a dedicated group that that we banter back and forth in the comments with. So uh, feel free to join in. Welcome to the channel. And as always, to my existing subscribers, you know, you're still hanging in there, putting up with this old man. So thanks for sticking around. So with that, I'm going to sign off and uh, be prepared for a uh, fuel system um, video in the next few days. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye now.